Connie from the Hopo Branch, and welcome to our very first episode of Biography Shorts for Kids. So each week we will look at a different famous person, or maybe two, and we will learn about them, a little bit of a biography, and then we will look at the books and materials available through the library system so that you can learn more about that person. This month, we are going to be celebrating Black History Month. And so each week, we will be looking at the accomplishments of famous Black Americans. And today, we are going to look at the very brilliant scientists, George Washington Carver and Katherine Johnson. So let's get started. First, we will look at George Washington Carver. You can see some of his many books that we have in the library on the top row of this slide, and we'll take a look at those in a little bit. George Washington Carver was an inventor, a botanist, a farmer, professor, and artist. He was born about 1864 in Diamond, Missouri to slaves, Mary and Giles. When he was just one week old, George, his mother, and his sisters were kidnapped. George was soon found and returned to the slave owners, Moses and Susan Carver. The Carvers decided to raise and educate George and his brother, James. Mrs. Carver taught George at home, as most schools would not allow African-American students. George liked learning about plants. He loved to work in the garden and bring dying flowers back to life. George moved away from home at about age 11. He went to school in Neosho, Missouri. After high school, he went to Simpson College, and then in 1891, he became the first African-American student at Iowa State University. He graduated in 1894, and after graduating, taught at Iowa State, and then he taught at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. One of George's ideas was to rotate crops to keep soil full of nutrients. We still do this today. He came up with more than 300 uses for peanuts. George got patents on only three of his many inventions. He did not care about being rich. He wanted to help others. And there's so much more to his story. He met presidents, he had famous friends, and has an impressive list of accomplishments for anyone, let alone someone who faced so many obstacles to his success based on his race. Most of this information came from George Washington Carver, botanist and inventor by Mary Boone, and we'll look at that in a minute. And I hope I've piqued your interest in learning about this fascinating man. Let me show you some more of his books that you can check out from the library. The first book we'll look at is The Secret Garden of George Washington Carver. The inspirational story of George Washington Carver and his childhood secret garden is brought to life in this picture book biography. From a baby born into slavery to celebrated botanist, scientist, and inventor, his passions and determination are the seeds to this lasting story about triumph over hardship, a tale that begins in a secret garden. Besides a well-told story, this book has beautiful illustrations and a timeline at the end of the book, and I really enjoyed this one. I highly recommend it. Who was George Washington Carver? This book is part of the Who Was series. It is an informative chapter book, and it also has a timeline in the back. George Washington Carver, world famous botanist and agricultural inventor. What I liked about this biography is that it is only 48 pages, but it is packed with facts. It also contains many photos. George Washington Carver. I like this book because at 41 pages long, it is packed with information and photos, some of which I hadn't seen before, like photos of the carvers who raised him and photos of his paintings. George Washington Carver, botanist and inventor. I mostly use this book for the information I presented earlier. It is only 24 pages and provides a good short summary of his life. Lives of Scientists, Experiments, Explosions, and What the Neighbors Thought. George Washington Carver is only one of the chapters in this book, but it was so well done and informative, I included it here. Now we're going to learn about Katherine Johnson, and some of her books are on the second row 
of the slide we're looking at right now. Katherine Johnson was a physicist and mathematician. She was born in West Virginia in 1918, and she lived to be 101 years old. She always loved math, and she was a good student. She went to college when she was 15 years old and thought she would be a math teacher or a nurse. But when she got to college, her professor encouraged her to become a research mathematician. She graduated when she was 18 years old, but it was the Great Depression and it was hard to get a job and she fell back on teaching school. Then in the 1950s, the National Advisory Committee on Aeronomics was hiring more African-American computers and Catherine was hired. Her job required her to calculate flight paths, which required complicated geometry equations. In 1969, she was an essential part of the team that calculated the path for the first manned mission to the moon. And there's so much more to her story. We're gonna learn more about some of the books that you could take out to learn more about Katherine Johnson. Counting on Catherine, how Catherine Johnson saved Apollo 13. You've likely heard of the historic Apollo 13 mission, but do you know about the mathematical genius who made sure that Apollo 13 returned safely home? As a child, Katherine Johnson loved to count. She counted the steps on the road, the number of dishes and spoons she washed in the kitchen sink, everything. Boundless, curious. And excited by calculations, young Catherine longed to know as much as she could about math, about the universe. From Catherine's earliest beginnings as a gifted student to her heroic accomplishments as a prominent mathematician at NASA, this is the story of a groundbreaking American woman who not only calculated the course of moon landings, but in turn saved lives and made enormous contributions to history. That says it all. It is a fascinating book that has great pictures and a little drama, and I highly recommend it. Counting the Stars is another great picture book about Katherine Johnson. Reaching for the Moon, the autobiography of NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson. So autobiography means she wrote the book. It's a chapter book, so at 248 pages, it's for a slightly older reader. But this book will be interesting because she is telling her own story. Hidden Figures, the true story of four black women and the space race. This book explores the previously uncelebrated but pivotal contributions of NASA's African-American women mathematicians to America's space program, describing how Jim Crow laws segregated them despite their groundbreaking successes. It includes biographies on Dorothy Jackson Vaughan, Mary Winston Jackson, Catherine Coleman Goble Johnson, and Dr. Christine Mann Darden. Women in Science, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World. There are several black American scientists in this book, including Katherine Johnson, Annie Easley, and Mae Jemison. From the DK Life series, we have Katherine Johnson. This is a 128 page chapter book on the life of Katherine Johnson. Before we finish, I want to squeeze in two more bonus biographies. So the first one is May Among the Stars. When young Mae Jemison is asked by her teacher what she wants to be when she grows up, African-American May tells her mostly white classmates that she wants to be an astronaut, a dream that her parents wholeheartedly support. And she, of course, does become an astronaut. And then we have Flying Free, How Bessie Coleman's Dreams Took Flight. This is the story of Bessie Coleman, the first African-American woman to earn her pilot's license. I hope you have been inspired to learn more about these great Americans by checking out some library materials. If you are not coming to the library, there are many ebooks, e audiobooks, and e videos that you can access at home with your library card. Just go to mcl.org and select login and catalog, and you will be able to search all of our materials, both electronic and physical. Thanks for watching today, and I hope you'll join us next week as we continue our theme of celebrating Black History Month 
by learning about some famous athletes. Bye for now.